Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with another COD Mobile video. Today, we just hit the reset three minutes ago. The score's not in, but definitely red team got another point today. So it's going to be 2-0 uh, probably before the end of this video. 2-0 red and they're getting territory number two. Now, the new event today or how to contribute to the war is get kills with assault rifles equipped with five attachments. So we're going to go and get some AR kills and see how many points per kill. But once again, it's AR kills, five attachments. So if you go score streaks, if you go operators, uh, the kills will not count, will not give you contribution points. So last time we had some kill event, it was two points per kill. So let's do a test right now, see how many points per kill and see what we're going to use today. And probably I'm going to use uh, the good old HVK, guys. It's just too good. So we're going to go HVK 30. Uh, we're going to go Vulture, I guess, just in case we got a butt lobby, but... Uh, probably I'm not gonna use my score streaks and all that, so I'm not gonna use persistence. I'm just gonna go for gun kills. Now here's the gunsmith I use on the HVK30, guys. I went back to tactical suppressor. I know a lot of you guys say use monolithic instead. Like, here's what it does, okay? It's gonna give you uh, a little more range, damage range, but you lose a little bit of accuracy and bit of mobility. I know it's not much, but at long range, it does matter to me. So anyways, use what you like, guys. If you want to go mono suppressor instead, uh, light barrel, laser, large caliber. You got to use the large caliber on that one. And rubber, grip tape, whatever you like, guys, for real. And people will say, if you go HVK, just go large caliber and any four. But uh, yeah, whatever you like, guys. Let's go for some action right now. And uh, yeah, let's get some gun kills and see how many points we got. So here's the deal, guys. We're going to go hard point shipment because... That's the small map with a lot of a lot of action. And uh, we're not gonna use operators, we're not gonna use score streaks. Just gun kills. Uh, and then yeah, let's check the total at the end. Oof. Looks like we're not the only one trying to get kills here, guys. This lobby is pretty pretty intense, I'm gonna say. Brushette, bros. That's what we say, brushette. Oh crap. No, my game froze, dude. I was on a hot streak. What the hell was that? Like, seriously? I just respawned, like, just back in the game. Man, these dudes are using their, uh, their score streaks and all. That's pretty bad. Saw this dude. I don't know what, what they're doing, but I'm gonna ignore that. Bro, I'm lagging again, or is just this guy disconnected or something? That was weird. Aw. Game is over, guys. All right, that was a very rough game, like super laggy and super sweaty also. Like these guys were using uh, the operators and the score streaks. So yeah, that was pretty bad. But still, we got 22 kills, so let's see how many points. But here you see, of course, red team won. The second point is gonna be there now, 2-0. And the uh, contribution now, it says today's contribution 176 now how do i get 176 points for 22 kills i guess you divide by two because i got the double point bonus so that would be normally 88 points right 88 times two uh so i guess you get four points per kill guys but you get uh only the gun kills that count ar five attachments so guys if you go for action you want to contribute to the team don't use score streaks don't use operators these kills will not count and it's gonna be a waste of time and a waste of points so yeah go ar and if you want to get a lot of kills per minute go hard point shipment like i said even with a bad game i crashed i disconnected and i had a sweaty lobby 
uh, and I got 22 kills. So you can get 20 kills plus. You can get 50 kills even uh, if you have a good game versus bot. So good luck, guys. That's going to be it for now. And uh, as you can see, by the way, uh, the, the reset just happened like 14 minutes. And red team is already 1 million ahead. That's insane. Like that just goes to show um, like the balance of the event. Like definitely, I think the mistake they made is they show the score at the start of the event. And, and like just something like that, right at the start, the red team has a, a little lead. So every new player that registered, they all go red because they wanted to win. Um, and, and that results is like millions of players going to the red team. And now there's not much blue can do except having the great rewards like the, the um, Razorback Sapphire is actually pretty dope. The soldier skin is nice. I mean, I like the rewards, but forget the backpack. I think it's already won and it's going to go on the red team. But hey, uh, like I said, it's a, it's an event. It's just for fun. It's no big deal. And, and I think the real reward of the event would be uh, the locust. The locust is absolutely beautiful. And if you guys don't know yet, uh, it doesn't matter if you're on red team or blue team. If you want the locust, you have to go on the leaderboard and be in the top 5% at the end of the event. Okay? So if you have it now, it's not over. You have to be in the top 5 at the end. So don't stop playing, guys. Keep grinding. And that's going to be it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck with the event. Good luck with the rewards. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.